Eight News continues to take action tonight on those meals tax issues, costing Richmond residents thousands of dollars in back taxes. Now city leaders are responding with proposals that they believe will prevent this mix up from happening again. Eight News reporter Autumn Childress is live in studio tonight. And Autumn, you've spoken to these restaurant owners, so what's the latest? Well, yeah, Deanna, these restaurant owners say they are cautiously optimistic about these proposals. Of course, they hope new policies will prevent this headache in the future, but many of these businesses are still facing several thousands of dollars in bills, all because of a mistake from the city. Tonight, Richmond City leaders looking to right their wrongs after a meals tax mix up left some business owners facing a multi thousand dollar bill. It's, it's just been complete chaos. Matthew Mullet is the owner of Rich Brow Brewing. He's just one of the many frustrated business owners. Earlier this month, we told you Mullet was hit with a $50,000 bill for not collecting that 7.5% meals tax. This, even though he was advised by the city not to collect it. Despite the city acknowledging their mistake and Mullet filing several appeals, the bill still stands. We have not heard a word from the administration. But new tonight, the city of Richmond is presenting proposals to adjust how they collect revenue from businesses. During a finance meeting last week, Chief Administrative Officer Lincoln Saunders presented a six part proposal that he believes could address the issue. We are going to review past cases and provide either relief. Those proposals, including making electronic payments more accessible and removing the convenience fee, reducing the late payment penalty from 10% down to 2%, extending the repayment plan period from 60 months to 72 months, lowering minimum down payment thresholds, having more meetings with businesses, and preventing compounding late payments. Mullet questioning if these proposals could address his issue. And if so, why hasn't it been fixed yet? Now, according to Saunders, these proposals would either require a change in city code or approval from city council. It's unclear when they would go into effect. In the meantime, though, Mullet is still pressing for answers and hoping for a reasonable solution that allows his business to stay in Richmond. We can't allow a situation to develop where our resources, time and energy are devoted to fighting a battle with with City Hall. Now we know City Councilwoman Ellen Robertson is holding a community meeting on Thursday. The meals tax issue is on the agenda. We've also heard Lincoln Saunders will be there to answer questions. We'll stay on top of it. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Autumn Childress, 8 News.